we have two ratios you have to multiply the two ratios then you will get a compound ratio you need to cube the ratios on both sides so 3 cube is 27 and 5 cube is 125 so this is the triplicate ratio 400 minus 100 should be 300 600 minus 100 should be 500 so their expenditure is 3 by 5 Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is Yashruti Ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. In this session, we are going to revise the chapter ratios and proportions. So here in this session, I'm going to solve one mark and two marks question. Let's see the distribution of marks from this chapter. So from the chapter ratios and proportions, you will get one one mark question, one two mark question, 1 3 mark and 1 5 mark in total you will get 11 marks from the chapter ratios and proportion so let's see the type of questions you may expect for your examination so let's solve one mark question find the compound ratio of 3 is to 5 and 4 is to 7 so what do you mean by compound ratio so we have two ratios, you have to multiply the two ratios, then you will get a compound ratio. So 3 is to 5 can be written as 3 by 5, 4 is to 7 can be written as 4 by 7. So multiply 3 4s are 12 divided by 5 7s are 35. So therefore 12 is to 35 is the compound ratio. Next question, find the third proportional of 4 and 6. When I say the third proportional so your means will be the same value so the third proportion can be written in the form of 4 is to 6 proportion 6 is to x so this is the first second and third proportional we need to find the value of x we know that product of means is equal to product of extreme so we will get 4 into x is equal to 6 into 6 that is 36 4 ones are for 9s are so x is equal to 9 so the value of the third proportional is 9 next find the fourth proportion of 6 12 and 15 so we'll write it in the form of 6 12 15 and x again we'll the, use the concept of product of means is equal to product of extremes so we will get 6x is equal to 15 into 12 so we will get it as 180 Again, 6 1s are, 6 3s are, 6 zeros are. So, the value of x is equal to 30. Find the triplicate ratio of 3 is to 5. When I say triplicate ratio, you need to cube the ratios on both sides. So, 3 cube is 27 and 5 cube is 125. So, this is the triplicate ratio. Next. Find the duplicate ratio of 5 is to 5. When I say duplicate ratio, it is 5 is to 3. Then square the ratios that is antecedent and consequent. So then we will get 25 is to 9. Next, find the value of x in 32 is to x is equal to 75 is to 50. So that is we can write it as 32 into 50 is equal to x into 75. So if we want x here, it is 32 into 50 divided by 75, 25 twos are 25, threes are we will get. So x is equal to 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 64 divided by 3. So this is the value of x. So these are few one mark questions. So now let's look at two mark question. Two numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 5. If i is added to each term, the ratio becomes 2 is to 3, find the number. So let us take the numbers in the form of 3x and 5x. So if the numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 5, then there should be a common multiple x with 3 and 5. So therefore, I will write the number in the form of 3x divided by 5x. Now, when the ratio is added 5 to each term, that is 3x plus 5, 5x plus 5, the new ratio you will get it as 2 is to 3, that is 2 by 3. Now we need to find the numbers. So let's solve for x now. 3 3 is a 9x, 3 5 is a 15, 5 2 is a 10x, plus 5 2 is a 10. So 10x minus 9x is x, 
15 minus 10 is 5. We got x is equal to 5. So therefore, the numbers are 3x is equal to 3 5s are 15. Then 5x is equal to 5 into 5, 25. So 15 and 25 are the given numbers which are in the ratio 3 is to 5. Next. Divide rupees 6000 in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. So when you are dividing any particular number in the form of ratio, so that means 3x plus 4x plus 5x is equal to 6000. So we will get here 12x is equal to 6000. So x is equal to 500. So therefore what are the number? 3x is 1500. 4x is 2000, 5x is 2500. Next question, monthly income of A and B are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and their monthly expenditures are in the ratio 3 is to 5. If each saves rupees 100 per month, find the monthly income of A and B. So, if I take my monthly income as x and my expenditure as y. So my monthly income when I subtract with my savings then it will be equal to expenditure. So similarly they have given the monthly incomes of a and b is in the ratio 2 is to 3. So they will write it as 2x divided by 3x. Both of them will save 100 rupees. So therefore that is let me subtract from their income in the ratio and that it is equal to the expenditure in the ratio 3 is to 5. So therefore obviously it has to be 3 divided by 5. So from the income if I subtract my savings it will be equal to the expenditure. So now let us solve for x now. So I will get 10x minus 500, 9x minus 300. So here I will get x is equal to 200. So now I got the value of x. So monthly incomes is 2x. So therefore monthly income of A is equal to 2x which is equal to 400 and of B is 3x which is equal to 600. So obviously 400 minus 100 should be 300, 600 minus 100 should be 500. So their expenditure is 3 by 5. So next question, if A is to B is equal to 4 is to 5, find 3A plus 2B divided by 3A minus 2B. So we know that A by B can be written as 4 by 5. Let me take this as some 4K and B as some 5K. So this implies what? I can take the value of A as 4K and b as 5k. So from the equation given 3a plus 2b divided by 3a minus 2b. Let me substitute it now. So we have 3 into 4k plus 2 into 5k divided by 3 into 4k minus 2 into 5k. So 12k plus 10k divided by 12k minus 10k. So here 22k divided by 2k. k k get cancers, we will get it as 11 by 1. So or we can write it in the ratio of 11 is to 1. This is the value. Next question, what must be added to each term of the ratio 5 is to 6 so that it becomes 8 is to 9. So let me take the ratio in the form of 5 divided by 6. What has to be added? So let me take the value as x. I should add same number to both 5 and 6 so that the ratio becomes 8 by 9. So analyzing the statement we will get this equation. So now let us solve for x. 5 9 is 45 plus 9x is equal to 48 plus 8x. So we will get x is equal to 3. So therefore 3 has to be added. So that 5 plus 3 is 8, 6 plus 3 is 9. Next question, if a is to b is 2 is to 3 and b is to c is 6 is to 13, find a is to b is to c. 
See from the first ratio we have a by b is equal to 2 by 3 and from the second ratio we have b by c is equal to 6 by 13. I have to compare a, b as well as c then at least b has to be with the same value. So what I will do here I will multiply 2 for both a and b then it will become 4 divided by 6. So, so now since the b quantity is same a is to b and b is to c I can equate a is to c. So therefore a is to b is to c is value of a is 4 b is 6 c is 13. So when you want to write the combination of two ratios in this form then one of the common ratio has to be with the same value. So these are the few questions you can expect from one mark or two mark question. Let's look at the three marks and five marks question in the next session. Until then keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.